jab, uppercut, leave you laid out on the floor, try to duck and roll, hit and miss, now you kind of start, shoulda practiced more, shoulda hit the mask, get out there more, playing that you're the best. You gotta show me, son. Actions over words, baby boy. Is you real or what? Talking way too much. World come back. Sports talking way too much. World come back. Sports talking way too much. World come back. Sports. 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 First in the building, Boxing Fan Talk is on deck, y'all. About that time. Yes, indeed. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, mother effing talk. We on fight week. Yes, we are. My week is here, goddammit. Yeah, fight week is on MF and deck. It's about to happen. It's about to go down this weekend. No more. Oh, it's five weeks. It's four weeks. It's three weeks. It's two weeks. No, we here now, God damn it. We here. We here. We on fight week. You know, these days are going to go by real quick. I've seen the videos. I've seen them. I seen them. People still got them picked. People still got them picked. You know what I'm saying? They still got that guy picked. I seen him running the hills. I seen him out there struggling. Yes, I did. I seen him running. Yes, I hope he gets that weight off. I'm not wishing anything bad bad on him. I seen him running the hills. I seen one foot in front of the other. Took me back to the Marine Corps days. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But But the one thing about it, the one thing about it, I don't know what he's wearing right now, but I hope those heels and you had a conversation. I hope y'all both had a one-on-one and held each other accountable. I I hope there was a meeting of the heels and the minds. You know what I'm saying? They say the heels has eyes, right? I hope you was able to get to the dang peak, the pinnacle of where you was trying to go to get those pounds off. Because I know they was riding around with a scale. I know y'all had a scale in the back of the truck. Yeah, I know you did. I hope that weight coming off. We on fight week now, goddammit. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I like that rhythm. I like that. Because you got to goddamn put those toes on that scale, goddammit. Come Friday. Yes, indeed. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, July 29th. It's going down. Uh, Like I said before, we've been waiting for this for a while, and it's finally here. It's finally here. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I know there's still some people that got them picked. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. That's okay, man. Let's get to the chat. Pick. Blunts and boxing the gold on deck. OG, what's the word? What's good with it? Blunts. Salute to the soldier in the building, man. Beagles boot camp in the building. Yes, sir, indeed. Salute, fam. Carlos Rosado in the building. Yo, WCS salute. Six days away. Don't put it out there, man. Come on now. Come on now. Don't put it out there like that. They're going to get so nervous, man. Some of them, look, some of them was in church heavy. Even I went to church this morning, the Carlos Blunts, Beagles boot camp. Boxing fan talk, Pablo. I went to church this morning. I went there for other reasons, of course. But I did. I did go to church. Because I said, I know it's a possibility that I may catch an aerosexual on their knees in between the pews. 
praying to the Holy Spirit. Oh, Father God, we just wish you can bless us just this one time. Father God, please hear my voice. Man, they was praying in between them pews. They was praying. The preacher had to stop the sermon and say, excuse me, excuse me. It's a time and a place for that. Let me get my sermon out first. You don't know, Pastor. You don't know. We have a we have a heavy burden on our heart, Pastor. You don't know how this feel. It's over. If he don't win, it's over. Pastor, it's over. You can go from, from, from giving a church service to giving a memorial. It's over. We are here. In all respect, Pastor, that you pray for us. And you you know, please, please show us, show us the light, Father God. We are on fight week and we just have a nervous breakdown. Please show us the light, Father God. Guide us along the path of darkness, for that is where we belong, Pastor Father God. We have sinned and ran a smear campaign on this Omaha monster, and we are scared to death. Please bring us back to the light. Pablo on deck. What's good? Salute WCS. What's good with it? Bud gonna stop Spence in the building. WCS salute. Have you seen the white Anderson? He's missing and the almost here. He got a bet with both of us. Yeah, see, see, see. It's okay. I got that GPS track on him that Bud gonna stop Spence. You know what I'm saying? I got that GPS track on the white. Yes, sir. He ain't getting far, though. He ain't getting far, especially where he at. He ain't getting far. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I already I already unlocked that down. Nah, nah. He ain't getting far. We live in a tech era, bro. Dookie wipes would be two for one later. I mean, two for one after the 29th. Damn. I wasn't thinking about using no dookie wipes. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that, Carlos. I'm talking about. I'm talking about renting out a whole fire engine, hooking that bitch up to a goddamn hydrant and hosing them bitches down. I'm not getting close. Did you just hear my other lives? Them motherfuckers are infectious. They going around here carrying all this shit, man, eating that breadcrumbs that I left out, man. They carrying some shit that cannot be cured just based off one pill. I'm telling you, man, the shit they carrying around, man, is worse than COVID. I'm not getting close enough to hand them some dookie. I'm going off with the resources that is natural. I'm getting a fire hydrant. You know what I'm saying? A fire engine. Hook it up to a hydrant. And we're going to hose them bitches down. For real. And we're going to stick them in quarantine too. I already got it set up. I already got it set up, man. Real talk. I already got the quarantine set up. We're going to use one of those sewer systems. You know what I'm saying? We're going to use one of those sewer systems. We're going to goddamn clean that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Put some chemicals down there. We're going to put them underground where all the other unsavory characters at. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put them underground where it's dark. So by the time they come back to the light, they would have understood that they fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And, and they need to pay them debts. They got to pay every debt. You know what I'm saying? We'll give a little bit of time to rehabilitate down there. You know what I'm saying? Eat some of the sewer system um, nutrients that they have down there. You know what I'm saying? The piss, the 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 the, the soggy breadcrumbs that I'm going to leave down there. Oh, eating hamburger meat. You know what I'm saying? Bologna, spam, potty meat. You know what I'm saying? All the essential ingredients that McDonald's have thrown in the dumpster, and some of it was thrown down the sewer system and, and, and the water. You know what I'm saying? The water from the toilets and everything else at the quick trips. Yeah, we're going to give them the most healthiest diet that they can imagine. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It is fight week, people. It is fight week. Yes, sir. We are here, ready, no surrender, no retreat. It's time to ball out. Mixtape fire. What's good in the building? Don Vaughn in the building. Salute WCS in the chat. I have a couple of fights I want to talk about before I get to the obvious. I be who I be. He too has been contemplating 
his longstanding membership, he too is feeling some type of way. But like I said before, we have shut down any new membership, any new boxing fans that's trying to cross over that has been rejected, shut down. We are not accepting anyone else that choose to jump the fence. It's not happening. Oh, I heard a new um, fight should be about 8 a.m. Eastern. Coverage starts 430 in case you want to know. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I'm going to talk about that, too. I'm going to talk about that. Um, I'm going to talk about that. Definitely. W says, do you believe Buck can get a fair shake if it goes to the judge decisions? If you haven't already seen there, Pablo, you know, I've kind of stayed away from that, right? I've stayed away from it. You know what I'm saying? I've stayed away from the what ifs. I try to shy away from it because it has too many branches on it. Seriously. It just has too many roots that can sprout and it can, it can, it can just blossom into something that, that really takes away from the sport of boxing. We already know the sport is corrupt. We already know that the people that I've mentioned before from the commission, the judges and the third man in the ring can ultimately influence the fight, including look, including the doctor who is the fourth, you know what I'm saying? Including the doctor. But primarily the judges and the referee are the influences who can basically manipulate the outcome of a fight. You know what I'm saying? So I've been trying to stay away from July 29th, having any of those influences. But we're we're, we're talking about Vegas, bro. And absolutely, I believe something crazy can happen. Absolutely. I would be lying to you if, if it's not sitting on my thought process as a, as a possibility. Yes. Indeed, I do. The, the magnitude of this fight is crazy. Because I remember when Deontay Wilder was going in there to defend his WBC title, I say his team need to be perfect. And they weren't perfect. Something ended up happening where he said he, he, his water was, you know, he felt like he was drugged and all that. And then a team member um, did something outside of the orders that was given from Deontay Wilder. And he threw in the towel. That got being Mark Breland, right? I'm I, I'm not putting that into this, but I'm saying when it comes to boxing, it's so many unexpected avenues that that you can take. You never will see it coming. It's just like driving straight ahead, and then someone or you know, something approach from the side street. Before you see it, it's too late. That's just how boxing is. The element of surprise is just elevated. You know what I'm saying? From the from the from the magnitude of the fight, the element of surprise just becomes extremely um, crazy when you think about it. it. It it brings you that sense of anxiety. And, you know, you think about this fight. You think about the Canelo roster, and you're saying to yourself, who's going to go through drastic measures? Has anyone been paid off? What did we just witness with Maxie Hughes and, and George Cambosis last night? It further proves that boxing is always going to have those, those – um magicians in place that will always trick you out that win seriously they will always be in place always bro bug gonna stop spence was good gonna expose arrow the manufactured champion replacement batteries not included yes sir replacement batteries is not included in this man we're running off that shit that that, that your body naturally produces you know what I'm saying? When it comes to freaking Bud Crawford, we're going off that shit that's naturally produced that you can't find in a battery pack because we all know batteries, they're going to run out. You know what I'm saying? You use it up too, too, too much during a short period of time. They run the fuck out. That's all. If Spence loses the belts on the scales, he's hating. If Spence loses the belts on the scale, he, he, he hating. I don't know what that means exactly. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Jay? How you feeling, bro? Jay in the building. Terrence Bud for a dub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thomas Henry, salute WCS almost um knockout time 29. Can't come quick enough. You ain't lied, bro. You ain't lied. 
40 and 031. It's always been about greatness. It's always been about greatness. This is just another moment, another epoch in, in, in the boxing history for us to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Buzz said, I train too hard to think about losing. God damn it. They should, they should goddamn tag that shit. I don't know if it's any other athlete that ever said that, but that right there is classic. That is classic. That sums up a lot of shit. I train too hard to think about losing. When, when, a, when an athlete says that, especially in a combat sport, man, it's a whole nother level, bro. It's not, it's not just his confidence. It's that for him deep down, you know what I'm saying? The energy that his brain, we, 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 we're talking about psychoanalysis, right? We're talking about how you communicate with yourself because we, we do have to communicate with ourselves, right? That's the gift God blessed us with. It's not always the best answers that we get, but for Bud to communicate to himself and, and make a commitment to say, this is how I'm going to go about the professional sport. This is how I'm going to go about being the best at what I do in the sport. This is how I'm continuing to excel. That man saying, I did everything I need to do. I know I'm above average. I know I've trained at the highest. I know when it's time that other people may be cheating. I'm not. When I'm supposed to be on my diet, I'm on my diet. When I'm supposed to be training, I'm training. When I'm supposed to be at that little peak to say, okay, that is, I push past it. I understand that I've broken thresholds. You know what I'm saying? I've proven that I can go past this point of failure and then create another point of failure and then another point of failure. That man said, I train too hard to think about losing now. Come on, that's 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 what I'm talking about. That's motivating right there. Eric Thomas need to use that shit. You know what I'm saying? If it was easy, everybody would do it. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't easy. Boxing ain't easy. It's just people like Crawford that make it look easy. You know what I'm saying? He gets in here this weekend and makes that shit look easy. I told people, I said, I think this fight is going to be easier than Sean Porter, to be honest. Seriously, I think this fight is going to be easier than Sean Porter's fight. I really think this fight is going to be easier than Sean Porter. For various reasons, I think it is. I pray they don't um, do to Bud what they did to Gambosa's opponent last night. Maxie Hughes, shaking my head because that was horrible. I got Bud regardless, but we know how Vegas is. Unfortunately for um, Maxie Hughes, he was on the on the dark side. You know what I'm saying? On the slimy side. You know what I'm saying? He was on the slimy side. He he was on the, he was on the undercarriage of of one of the slimiest. You know what I'm saying? Unscrupulous malefactors that you can possibly run into. The dirtiest motherfucking insect. An animal. He was on the slimy side of boxing. That man clearly beat Cambosis. You know what I'm saying? You know, they put Maxie Hughes underneath the pile of fresh dung. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, you know what I'm saying? Before that dung was laid on there, that, that ground had been saturated with, with, with urine. You know what I'm saying? Just body secretion liquids. You know, it, it, it was so nasty how they shitted on this man. They shitted on Maxi bad. Gam Cambosis lost that, that fight and boxing showed him, you know what I'm saying? It's not that easy. You're not going to go and get the decision. You know what I'm saying? Like that. We, we got plans for Cambozo. You know what I'm saying? Just when I stopped calling him Cambozo, he go and put back on the wig and he shows up and he didn't do enough to win, bro. He didn't even look exciting. You know what I'm saying? He did not look exciting, man. He didn't win that fight, in my opinion. And that's why I put in there on my details, um, I put in there the scores. Did y'all even take a look at the scores? David Sutherland scored at 114-114. Travesty. Despicable. You know what I'm saying? Flagitous. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. You scored that fight 114-114. Nobody in a in a in a mind would have looked at that fight. Especially once, but twice, and come up with a draw. Gerald Ritter scored it 115-113 now. 
And then Husef Mason 117 111 in favor of Cambosis, bro. And I was looking at the scorecards. I say, man, this this is what boxing does, man. That's what boxing does. It finds the most tender part of a person's um, emotional structure, and they fish hook the shit out of it. They yank your ass up, man, and cause you the most pain. Like Maxi obviously was like, I know I won this fight. I did everything. He fought a smart fight. Maxi said going into that fight, if they don't know who I am, they will after I get through this fight. He went in there and fought a very competitive fight. I, I feel, I always feel bad for any fighter who goes in here, especially for boxing, being that they have to go through the rigors of training, right? And they put their body through so much construction. Real talk. It's construction, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They shit is torn down and rebuilt. Torn down and rebuilt. And 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 he went in there for former undisputed world champion. And I don't feel like hearing nobody comments in the chat talking about he wasn't undisputed. A former undisputed under the franchise era. And 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 look, this dude did not perform. It only further validates my point that he caught Tiafima Lopez on a bad night. You know what I'm saying? He went in there, got beat by Maxi Hughes, which I'm not saying Maxi Hughes couldn't fight. But when he was in there against um, Cambozo, he did well. He won that fight. And unfortunately, he had to go through, you know, he just had to go through the the um the owls, you know what I'm saying, of boxing. He 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 just went, he was on the right owl, but it, it wasn't the essentials that he needed while he was on that owl. You know what I'm saying? He he, he looked it looked good. It, it had all the signs up top. You know, it looked like the aisle he's supposed to be on, but it wasn't. It wasn't the right one. You know what I'm saying? The stock people fooled them. You know what I'm saying? They put up the signs, but they didn't have the product on the, on the aisle. Real talk. The product wasn't there. You know what I'm talking about? The fairness of boxing wasn't in it for, for Maxie Hughes. You know what I'm saying? And Cambos has got away with it. And, you know, I, I don't like how they, they go out here and start running their mouth. Bro, you lost that fight. Cambozo, you lost that fight. And you go up there and you start trying to emulate what Tia Fima Lopez loved to do. You're not Tio. And, and if y'all want to go back and freaking have that, that run it back, cool. But it only only reason they're talking about Cambosa is because he lost that fight, but yet they awarded him the victory. What network filter and fight on? I mean, y'all can put that up. I'm not sure. I mean, he's a he's a PBC fighter, so. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Showtime. You know, he's a PBC fighter, right? He said he was he was going to um, talk to Al Heyman. So anything dealing with Al Heyman is going to fall beneath the umbrella of Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. That's where it's at. Appreciate that, IB. Appreciate that. Through the lens of the trenches, what's good with you on deck in the building? He said, Bud signed that deal, that fight deal with PBC, just in case it do go the distance. He can get cheated. He won't get cheated because he helped them keep all the money in house. I'm not sure that's the that's the reason why, you know, he signed the deal. Like he signed the deal because that would be one of the only ways that he can make the amount of money with Paramount. And you know, Showtime and all that together. And um, you know, that's that's the only way. He's not with a promoter. So when you independently, your resources are limited, right? You know what I'm saying? You have a lower reservoir of resources you can use to negotiate. It just so happened this time he went and took a different route to get what he needed to be. He said he can commu communicate it with, with Spence, who communicated with his people, and they was able to get this done. Sure enough. We understand that the fine details are still haven't been discussed. Um, I just watched the recent interviews with, with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And the guy was trying to pry about the um, the splits. I wasn't able to get the splits, man. 
And, 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 and these are people at PBC. You know what I'm saying? These are people at PBC. Seriously, these these are, are, are people that's... This ain't no Kelly freaking Swanson either. You know what I'm saying? These are people that's higher because she she is where she is. But these are way higher people. And I couldn't get the splits, bro. That shit is confidential like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like a nut in a... In a I mean, God damn. Like that, like that pearl in a, in a sh in an oyster shell. That shit is sealed. You're going to have to goddamn find that bitch and crack it open. Good luck trying to find it, though. Six months to, um, to go, TBC all day. Shout out to Detroit D-Town in the building. What's good with it? Bro, that robbery last night, boxing is corrupt. We need our leagues, own leagues, not only contact sports, but all athletics. It's very, it's very easy to say what we need, but actually how we get it, how we go about get it, requires people to make it happen. And in order for we in order for us to just get organized, you know what I'm saying? Restructure something that's been that way for, for, for decades. And not only that, D Town, it comes down to the people that's making money off boxing. It's a lot of people that make money off the open turn styles in boxing. It allows them to bet. It allows them to do underhanded um corrupt shit. It's a lot of people that make money off boxing. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and people will die. People will die if if this sport is sanctioned anytime soon. People will die. Because you have so many entities that's making money, people that we'll never meet, people people that you and I never meet. They're making money off, off the manipulation, off the predetermined bouts. They're making money. You know what I'm saying? This is a one-on-one -on -one sport. You, you, you Look, you have to look at it that way. It's easy to influence a one-on-one -on -one sport. It's easy to have influence when it's not a team. You have one moving part against another moving part. The trainers aren't fighting for these guys. So it's easy. I don't know if you all ever thought about that, but it's easy to manipulate a one-on-one -on -one sport where you have two individuals that are there to, 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 to participate, compete, and they can absolutely have the easier route out the door of throwing the fight. If they're not going to throw the fight, then the referee can stop the fight. If the referee ain't going to throw the fight, then the judges can, can influence the fight. The numbers aren't high on, on the influences, like I said, but they are extremely important, man. The three, the three, you know, um, areas, you know what I'm saying? From, from the referee to the judges, to the commission. I mean, that is huge, man. I know they said, well, so and so and so was betting on, you know, um, they they'll say a, a top basketball player, a top basketball player was betting on um, games and all that. That's that's him, but he still got a team. And boxing is so easy, bro, because you have these these competitors, and either one of them, depending on who's corrupt, you know, what I'm saying who's up here um, gambling, betting betting on themselves. Who's 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 in it with somebody who has debt that pays? You know what I'm saying? These fighters can absolutely influence that shit. It's too many people that's making money off the sport for it to uh, become sanctioned. If, if anybody start talking about sanctioning um, boxing anytime soon, and 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 basically um, reestablish this system, you know what I'm saying? Reinvent the wheel with this system. Because boxing is a system, you know what I'm saying? It would it would be all bad. People would die. Because you got to think about it. To have one president in the sport of boxing, you have to you have to look at it. If they're able to take complaints to this president to prevent um, fights to happen, like Maxi Hughes and George Cambosis, you have to ask yourself: Are they strong enough? Are they strong enough not to be bought? 
Are they strong enough not to be bought? Can they stand their ground? Ground? Do they believe they're gonna walk out there and and, and get in their car and and somebody's gonna kidnap them or someone's gonna try to damn strong arm them? You know? Can they stay strong in a sport that's been corrupt for decades, bro? If Bud didn't sign that fight deal with PBC, only way he could have won was a knockout because if it went to the cards, it wasn't letting Bud walk away with all that money. But since he signed, he's good. Justin Booker, what's good with it? In the building, I see you. I agree. You know how Vegas is. I'm 95% confident it doesn't happen, but there's always that other side. I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds by saying this, but Bud have that Floyd Mayweather talent in him. I don't know what you're talking about, Jay. <laughs> I don't get no Floyd Mayweather. I don't get no, no type of Floyd Mayweather. When I'm looking at Bud Crawford fight, none at all. I don't, I don't, no comparison whatsoever. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm being honest. Shout out to the XO factory in the building. Salute to you, XO. What's good? Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Everyone that's on deck. I got Bud in three, not worried about the BS. And you got him in three, big dog. Okay, I can't even phase you on that, man. Um, you know, I got him in six. That's just three rounds more. You know, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I got him, I got him picked in six. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't broke, then don't try to fix it. I'm not gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna stick with my pick. You feel me? I'm gonna stick with my pick. I was watching the vid on both fighters, and Bud was the first to be undisputed in all weight classes. Since B-Hop in over a decade, this is history on the line. Jermaine Taylor, you know what I'm saying? Jermaine Taylor, B-Hop. You know, he's definitely a special fighter. And that's why a lot of people are going for who they're going to. Not everybody's going for Bud Crawford. And that's the way it should be. Not everybody's going for Spence. You know what I'm saying? Mason scored six of the seven rounds for Cambosis. Yeah, man. I was looking at the scorecards early today. And it just goes to show, like, I don't really try to get um, immersed in, in putting these tags on boxing. But it's easy, too, when you get decisions like this. It's very, very easy, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's very easy. And we remember Avalana Berg when she scored that fight the way she did. And everybody was... Was you know there was a, there was an outcry, but she was she was suspended or removed for a little bit just so the shit can die down. You have to understand one thing: we go to a boxing match, we're not looking for the judges. We're not looking for the judges. All we're doing is looking for the fighters. We're looking for the fighters, and then we see the referee in there. We're not looking for the judges. So the judges is in a unique position where where they can be controversial. But it's a lot of people that's in attendance to watch the fight that wouldn't even know they're there. You know what I'm saying? Like only the hardcore, they would they would try to find out, okay, who who's, you know, only the ones is betting. Like the, the ones who really deep in this betting system, this betting game, putting money up and really, really deep into that shit. They will, will, will try to say, okay, before I put my money on this, I want to know who the referee going to be. I want to know who the judge is. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to know all that. They want to know, can they figure some shit out? Way above my pay grade, because I, I don't do that shit. Cambozo with the whole new team and look worse than he did versus Haney. He did, man. Cambozo, man, they gave him that fight. You know what I'm saying? The truth be told, Keyshawn, um, Keyshawn fight didn't, didn't wild me either. You know, I was paying attention to two different things. I actually thought Keyshawn was fighting at home. He's over in Oklahoma. And I, I thought he was he was really in an earlier fight. He's fighting like he's carrying old boy. But he ended up going the distance with him. So I'm like, I've seen him go to another gear before that, you know, uh, before this fight. 
it seemed he, you know, he didn't go to other gears and break his opponent down. He did get the knockdown and so forth. But anyway, Cambozo, man, they wrapped you up a nice one. Seriously. It's not even close to December. I'm, you know, it's not even close to December. They wrapped him up a nice one, right? A nice one. Keyshawn looked excellent defensively, pretty good offensively, but graded himself C+. I thought his performance was a C plus. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't too impressed with his performance, but these fighters can't go out here every time and look impressive. I, we don't know what's going on, but when you're in a spotlight, like they keep on highlighting you in front of the lens. People are selfish, man. You know, they want to see you continue to perform at the highest level. They, they don't want to see no dead spots. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to see no dead spots, man. When, when, when you got time in between fights, if you are, are on that schedule where you want to have a quick turnaround and jump back in the ring, guess what? You're going to have to make sure um, the, the engine's right, get all the necessary replenishment of fluids. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that body continues to recover. Do enough film study on your opponent. Your team continues not to get complacent. Because people are gonna hold him accountable, bro. They 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 pushing Keyshawn hard over there, hard, bro. They pushing Keyshawn hard. But in between time, I gotta I gotta remind y'all that we on fight week. We on fight week, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We are on fight week. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a wonderful harmony. You know what I'm saying? It's euphony to my ears, bro. We're finally on fight week for the biggest fight. This era, we on fight week. Twenty million guaranteed per fighter, but what's the pay per view sli um, split? If it's twenty million guaranteed for each fighter, that's great. Because at the end of the day, like I tell people, it don't matter the criticism I put in there with Errol Spence. I am absolutely happy that him and Bud Crawford is getting paid. If you know, if that's the money, I don't get into numbers. I'm not saying it's not blunts. I know blunts be out here in the in the goddamn underworld and the trenches and shit, finding out stuff. If 20 million is the guarantee, I'm happy for both. Real talk, I'm happy because truth be told, I, I don't even want to see Spence come back after he's out of here because it's going to be all bad. It's going to be all bad. When you see these fighters con consistently have to come back to the sport to make a buck, it's bad. Like now, if, if I wanted to go and, and jump back in a uniform and go into the core, it's certain things I can get away and certain things I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? I can get away due to seniority with not going on physical fitness runs and doing all uh, um, the training uh, regiments that I was forced to when I was coming up through the ranks. I can get away with that. But deployments, packing the pack, carrying your own shit, Moving all the time, getting back into the groove, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck big time. And plus, weight standards you have to meet weight standards, you have to have uniform inspection, all that shit that goes into it. But when it comes to boxing, though, I'm glad these cats are getting 20 million guaranteed. Genuinely, see, see, a lot of a lot of these aerosexuals can't say they feel that way about Bud. Because they really hate that man to the point where they want to see his kids starving. That's not me. That's not the way I talk. I will talk my shit on boxing. But when it comes to them um, getting that check and getting that money, listen, you have to have a whole different type of maturity in life that you can criticize a man, but you don't hate a man. And I don't hate Spence. He's just not my favorite fighter. When it comes to this money he's getting that's going to help him and his family, great. Awesome. I ain't mad at him. Boxing is a merciless sport. Motherfuckers go broke all the time. You know what I'm saying? I heard I heard Jerry Anderson had to have an operation and he had to come out of his pocket 35 stacks. 30, 35 stacks. And this is this is a boxer who was signed and 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 on TV prime time. But still, though those are little, you know, that's the shit I talk about. Those those alleyways you got to go through. I'm pretty sure everyone in the military will tell you, you go to these foreign countries, they have alleyways. You can find some real, you know, freaky shit down them alleyways. I'm telling you. 
But this man had to go get um, go get surgery and pay 35 stacks out of his pocket. Boxing is grimy, man. Seriously. He remind me of himself. He remind me of himself. You don't hear me comparing fighters to other fighters too often. I don't care to do that. That doesn't make you any more of a boxing historian. Because you can, look, when, when I hear people talking about it's going to be Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard, right? I pick Sugar Ray Leonard's fighting style in certain areas of the fight um, that he did that I don't see the fighters this day and time do. And, you know, it depends on when he was fighting also that he, he made those particular adjustments and, 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 and those types of moves in the ring, those type of punch encounters that he had. I mean, he didn't do it all the time, but you got to pick and choose when he did it. What part of his career? What was the opponent? And then I look at Hagler. Yeah, Hagler was a come forward um, style fighter, but I don't compare him to Spence. Just because he's come forward, I don't compare him just because he's in a single division. I don't compare him to no Spence. I don't compare him to Spence, bro. If you ask me, do I want to watch a Spence fight or a, a Marvin Hagler fight? I pick Hagler all day. I pick Hagler all day. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just that's just me. But just because he he was in one division and he comes forward and and he put the pressure, pressure doesn't identify two fighters to be as one. Just because they pressure their opponent, everybody pressure their opponent different. But you can't sit up here. Oh, he a black fighter. He a pressure fighter. We're gonna say uh, we want it to be Hagley Leonard. Why? Do you do you think Bud fight like Leonard? I don't. I'm not sitting up here saying um, Bud Crawford is Sugar Ray Leonard. I would say Sugar Ray Leonard's hands was way faster. And the way Sugar Ray moved in the room is how Sugar Ray moved. You know what I'm saying? That's how Sugar Ray moved. That's how I seen him move. Shout, shout out to Shot News, the Sox Experience, a.k.a. Showtime Shot in the building. Salute to you. What's good with the team Tucker on deck? They didn't want Bud to get paid. They know they didn't want him to get paid. You know what I'm saying? If they if they getting that guaranteed money like that, Showtime, I'm happy for both of them. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't change the way I feel come this weekend. That doesn't change it. You know what I'm saying? The man has been hopscotching around boxing for quite some time, and, and this is when he freaking sprains an ankle. For real. This is when he, he tears his meniscus. You know what I'm saying? He's been hopscotching for the longest of time. It is over. Say again, Houston. It is over. I repeat. Do you read? Do you copy? It is over. You know what I'm saying? It's over. All those little short flights that he had before, before that? No, no, no. It's over. You know what I'm saying? No. Shout out to um Pound for Pound King on deck. I see you in the building. Won't be surprised if Bud got the bigger split. I'm not really concerned about, you know, we know who the A side, B side, but also we've seen the, the fighter that's supposed to be, you know, the one that with all the belts supposed to be the A side, get less money than the B side because the B side, you know, who he's connected to and all this other shit. You know, I mean, it's politics at the end of the day. These fighters are prize fighters, bro. But you, you got to look at it. It's all about who you connected to. Who can pull those strings? And, and, and look, I, I've known fighters who's going in there with predetermined results already. They knew they was going in there and they was going to win. That's just boxing. That's just boxing. So if a fighter's mentality is that way, imagine what they're willing to do to get to the real big dance. You know what I'm saying? To get to the real big dance. They don't care about somebody else being fucked over. You know what I'm saying? They 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 just want to be in that position to be a corporate fighter that that they're doing what they're supposed to do so they can finally get that big money fight. And they can put that money, they can put it away, they can put it in the bank, they can save it. Our money on deck, I see you in the building. NFL training camp on um, let me see. Man. Dude, you're talking about we're talking about boxing over here, bro. <laughs> 
Okay, so so let me um talk about this Cambozo situation. Do I say it's Cambozo's fight? I mean, fault. I don't I don't see if it's fault. I I just want to know what he knew. I mean, what 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 did somebody tell Cambozo? You know, all you have to do is go to the final bell and get the knockout, and you good. We're gonna look out for you. Because to, to see him carrying that IBO title, as long as I've been around boxing, I, I'm still not numb to it. Like, really, I'm, I'm not numb to bullshit like this. Like, I truly believe that Cambozo lost that fight last night. He lost it. But but boxers don't want to look like they're embarrassed once they leave the ring and say, oh, it was a shitty decision. Like, when Roy Jones was robbed in the Olympics... You know, his opponents knew that that he didn't win and 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 he never gave the medal. You know what I'm saying? He never gave the medal up. He probably couldn't give the medal up, but he never did too much after that. You know what I'm saying? He never did. Like, it was so many Americans that was robbed. I'm surprised they even chose to become professionals. Just look how look, look how hard. These grown men, these warriors cried. Roy said he was about to be done with boxing, bro. Look at look at the only time you saw Floyd Mayweather, how he was shedding tears, bro. They put in all that effort to get to that pinnacle, and they couldn't they couldn't get it done in the eyes of those who was looking to fuck them over anyway. Boxing is a rough ass sport, bro. That's a man. This this is a rough sport, dog. This is why the YTC is the way it is. When we talk this boxing and you have content creators and content creators, it's just emulating the, the, the cast of boxing in general. That's, that's just the way it is. It's grimy. You know what I'm saying? It lacks integrity and honesty. It has no morals and principles. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the system of boxing, not so much the boxer themselves, but the system of boxing fucks everything up cambozo know he lost he, he he didn't even i mean he didn't even look sharper than he did in previous fights man it looked like he he didn't learn nothing from losing to devin haney twice it looked like he didn't learn nothing he didn't come back out and i'll say okay he looked like a c plus um you know what i'm saying c minus when he fought Devin, but you know, I'm looking for him to come in here and at least give us a B plus effort, a A minus effort or something like that against this guy. And um, he didn't do it. So he 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 did what he had to do. I want to move on to Stephen Fulton though. Um, I I watched that video over and over again. I don't know if they're tracking. I don't know if Fulton's trainer and himself is tracking. What I mean by tracking, I don't know if they're lined up the way they're supposed to do and on the same wavelength as far as a team unit goes. You know what I'm saying? The cohesiveness, moving, you know what I'm saying, like a well-oiled machine. I don't think they're on the same shit. When I when I was looking at all the facial expressions that Fulton was given while his coach was reading off that and mentioning, um, you know, the glove casking and all that, Fulton seemed to be not in agreement of him speaking on that. Okay. The last time I checked, the trainer is supposed to be working for the fighter. Even though the trainer is, is the one who trained the fighter, the fighter ultimately is the one who goes in there and compete. So when it comes to information being released to the media and being that he has people, he has that he, he, uh, cool boy stuff has to answer the people. And one of those people is not the guy that was to his right. He don't have to answer to him. He ain't going to get reprimanded by his trainer. He has other top dogs that's sitting up there like Al Heyman and, and whoever else that he's attached with. When he was making, making those facial expressions and shit, you know, that he may not step in the ring. You know, I would have I would have liked for that wink to mean that, OK. We're downloading the same information, goddammit. I know your intentions. I would have liked that wink to, to give me that confirmation. It didn't give me the confirmation because he winked and then it went, it went left from there. I'm like, okay, what was the wink for? 
like were you winking to let people know what you was about to inform them of about the about the gloves? I thought they was they was gonna be on the same tracking, the same coordinates on, on where the direct, direction of him releasing this information was gonna go. But when he was talking about um, you know, he might not go into the ring. Listen, we all know you go overseas. And they spend all that money on you and you want to pull out of a fight it's going to be repercussions and consequences so that was a bluff that was a bluff move you know what i'm saying it sound it sounds strong but that was a bluff move and then for for fulton i definitely want him fighting on a level playing field there has been times where um those fighters even in you know other countries i'm not going to mention and shit like that who who have been able to get away with shit? They have different rule settings over there. They they was able to get away with shit. And um, Japan is no different, you know. Like I mean, look, listen. When I used to go to them fights over in Japan, um, them them fighters was not clean. Back in the day, when I was over there in the nineties, them fighters was was totally different physical specimens than they was when they was in Japan than they are now. They came over here to the U.S. Where they had to deal with, with, with USADA. You know what I'm saying? Where they had to deal with USADA. Then they happened to dealing with VADA. Two different anti-doping agencies. But like I said before. I seen some, some cats over there. Built. Jacked. Strong as shit. Goddamn fighting fights that, that, that would have you down for a month. These, these cats turning around in a short period of time body recovery crazy because they wasn't doing that testing back then so being that this is strictly about the integrity of the equipment that you're using i hope i hope in a way is it's not like that people tell you every commission is different they do things different i've i've been to cards and i've mentioned this on my live but i'm not gonna mention it today where a fighter changed gloves without the team member of another, um, his opponent being in the area, being there to put eyes on them. Seriously. I've been to a fight where, where, you know, the corner wasn't, I've been to a fight where I remember I was giving, doing a live on this and I said, some of these big fights, you know, under these promotions, the commission's not even there when, when, when they're putting gloves on. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they're not even there when they're wrapping hands. Putting gloves on. I've I've been to a fight where where the gloves were received and there there was some folding and doing some extra shit. I mean, I'm come, come on man, it, it happens. You know, and it, it was amazing that some people thought that that was impossible to happen. No, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Not every promote. I've seen that shit with my own eyes that fighters was being wrapped up and they supposed to be supervised for, you know, by a certain team member and, this, and the team member wasn't there. It, it, and, you know, so you're saying, okay, well, if the team member isn't here watching you and you're not watching them, they pretty much got them doing what the hell they want to do. And that makes everything go go along smoother if 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 you got some extra enhancements. I'm not saying that's what's going on with anyway, but let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. I mean, anyway is not not bigger than than um, Stephen Fulton. He's not bigger. Um, I really don't see this 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 monster. You know, when you move up and wait, you rarely get fighters that's able to carry that power over like that from those lighter weight classes. Especially to a fighter like Fulton who doesn't have that Amir Khan syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Um, the glass effect. He, he, he doesn't have that. He don't have that neurological deficiency that, that if you miss a punch and the wind hits your, your, your cheek, you know what I'm saying? Just the just the whiskers of your cheek, you go down to the canvas. No, Fulton haven't been in that situation. He, his body ain't like that. But I don't see Monster in a way carrying over this 
bantamweight power up the super bantamweight and going in there and even outboxing Fulton. I don't see him even coming close to hurting him with nothing. But he is in a country where certain things can happen, man. Like you're in Japan. And the good thing about this is no U.S. judges and no Japanese judges. There's no U.S. judges and no Japanese judges. No Japanese judges, no U.S. judges. Fourth and I like his mindset, his, his mental blade. Bro said, it don't matter what he has in the gloves. I'm still going to beat him. I like I locality, bro. I like his whole fighting style. He doesn't get enough credit because he don't talk enough. He's not out here on social media, you know, talking shit to other fighters all the time. He just go in there and do what he has to do. But I don't see in a way beating him in any facet, any facet of, of that boxing curriculum. I don't see it. All that monster power and all this other shit. Come on now. I don't, I don't see that shit. When Fulton Coach was talking, that was somewhat cringe. It seems like the trainer is more worried than the fighter in this case. You, you know, the trainer really needs to respect the fighter not to go out here and mention information that you didn't discuss with your fighter previously. Preparation prevents piss poor performance. And that performance deals with talking in front of the media. If Fulton's making all these exper expressions like he, what, where's this coming from? What are you talking about? We ain't going to fight if this ain't that and all that. Nigga, I'm getting my money. What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell you talking about. You know what I'm saying? You can't go up here and stunt and do something impulsively without talking to your fighter. The fighter should have reprimanded him. Once they left that shit, he should have said, dog, don't ever do that shit again, bro. You know, it's hard to tell, man. I don't, I don't know, um, it, was he shocked about it? Because the wink, I seen his trainer wink at him. I don't know. Was, was You know, the cameras are rolling. They see everything. So so I don't know if Fulton was acting too. I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know if he was acting. I don't know if they actually discussed this in, in depth prior to taking the stage, but... You know, based off the uh, the expressions that, that Fulton was given to the public, to the lens of the camera, he seemed to be caught off guard with some of the information that this coach was talking about. That's not a good look. Especially when you are implying accusations on a fighter that you have to step in the ring with this week. Shout out to Lost Art of Boxing, the LAB. Cue the guard in the building. What's good with it, fam? Christopher White on deck. I see you. What's good with it, White? In the building. Shout to Gumbo on deck, man. Drop Spence in the hot grease, a.k.a. Fish Fry. Yes, sir, indeed. We about to see it go down finally, man, as the time tick away on this Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Gumbo on deck. I want to see Fulton go in there and do what I know he's capable of doing. You know what I'm saying? They was asking him about potentially him experiencing, you know, something that, that he can line up, a common denominator between Brandon Figueroa and in a way. You can't even line them fighters up, you know, together. You know, they keep asking these fighters, like, um, um, what was the guy? Was it Mark Kriegel? He was asking Bo Mack. How do you see this fight playing out? Do you see it going the distance or do you see a knockout? And then, you know, Bo Mack can answer something like, oh, we just, we just, we just looking to go in there and have a good fight. We train for 12 rounds. We got to go to 12 rounds. Do you believe at this point what you know um, that do you really want the knockout though? Do you think you can knock him out? Well, we're going in there, you know, we want the knockout, of course, but we're going in there to fight. You know, you just keep giving those answers. Then he asks you another question. Once you get in the fight, you know, um, wh what do you think is going to be one of the weaker points that you can take advantage of that ultimately 
um, can possibly get a stoppage. You know, they 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 loop around on shit. A stoppage is a knockout. Okay, so saying knockout pre pre preempted. You know what I'm saying? When you put that that acronym of that knockout, people latch on to it quick. But then you turn around and ask a different question. Say, well, you think, you know, as the fight go along, you start to break it down, you can get the stoppage. That's the same shit as them asking you, do you think you're going to knock them out? A stoppage is a knockout, whether it's a technical knockout or a knockout. God damn it. A stoppage is a knockout. You know what I'm saying? Look, and this is the third layer to them asking you the same goddamn question. Well, once you get into the fight, um, do you think what you what you've worked on in, in, in training camp? What are the strengths you think that you worked on in training camp that that you think will play a significant role in the fight um, that it won't go the distance? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now they want you to not only give away the game plan uh, that you see from film study, they once again trying to get you to pull it out of you. They say, "Oh, it won't go the distance." You know what I'm saying? It won't go the distance. You know what I'm saying? Knockout, stoppage, and it won't go the distance. It's all implying and leading to one area. Knockout. I don't know why people's infatuated with knockouts, you know, in this particular matchup, but it is what it is, man. Like, it's not going to be just an easy goal for these cats. It's going to be a tough fight, man. They start off with that shit. Hey, hey, tell me the game plan. I think that's the dumbest question. Tell me what you think is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? What do you see that you can exploit in this fight, um, you know, to get the victory? And if you're thinking about the victory, do you do, do you think that, you know, when do you think it'll happen? You think you can get them up out of there? You think you get the knockout? No, you know, we're not, we're not really going for the knockout, but we'll take it if we see it. Well, what did you see in over his past fights that you can take advantage of to possibly get the stoppage <laughs> it's the same fucking thing dog stoppage knockout it's the same thing dog and then they, okay you won't tell them it, it, about the distance <laughs> they, you know they, they they go they go and apply the distance you won't tell them about the stoppage rather they say well from what you've seen in previously you know, and what you know that your strengths and his weaknesses, or whatever, do you think it'll go the distance? Well, that's the same thing as you asked me. Am I going to get a stoppage? Like initially you asked me, do you, do, do you think I'm going to be able to get the knockout? All that shit means the same thing. You wrap it up and, and goddamn give it a little bit of a different color sequence. It, it's the same shit. It's a ribbon. You're trying to wrap it up with a ribbon for the fight fans, bro. They want to, they want some controversy. A lot of these niggas is asking these questions. They don't they don't think it's going to be a knockout as quickly as they asking the questions. They just want the fighter to basically you know put the stamp of approval. Yeah, I'm gonna knock him out. Oh, for real? How do you think that's going to happen? Why why do you have to be explained? Why do we have to explain what it's going to be? A knockout comes when it comes, bro. Like all these predictions that I hear. God damn. It's no such thing as no final prediction, nigga. You don't know. None of y'all know what it's going to be. Ah, uh, final prediction. None of y'all niggas know nothing about no prediction. You know what You know what you should call it? Gissing, nigga. Gissing. D-U-E issing. <laughs> it ain't no prediction. Do you want to know what a prediction is? You want me to tell you what a prediction is? A forecast. That's what a prediction is. A forecast. That's what a prediction. The action of predicting something. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? A prediction is what someone thinks will happen. A prediction is a forecast, but not only about the weather. Pre pre means before. The diction has to do with talking. So a prediction is a statement about the future. It's guessing. It's a guessing game, sometimes based on facts or evidence, but not always. It's guessing. I don't know why all these people up here doing all these predictions. Once the fight was announced, they come out. Bud Crawford and Errol Spence prediction. 
Then you get on the week of the fight, final predictions. It's no motherfucking final predictions, bro. You can't get shit out of a damn fight camp. They both was in fight camp. You're seeing what you're seeing. So now you're going to got down. Oh, well, I thought I had to fight eight rounds, but I think Crawford's going to be able to land that, that, that juke, that juke hook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The juke hook based off, you know, um, um, Derrick James slapping the shit out of freaking, uh, Errol Spencer, you know, coming over the top of his, his right and, and, and shit like, man, come on, bro. It's just guessing at the end of the day. I got um, Japanese fried rice beating Fulton. Oh, shit. Damn, you got Inouye beating Fulton. You don't know his name. That's that's just, that's like some jambalaya type shit, gumbo, for real. That's just some, like some jambalaya shit you just did. He said some Japanese fried rice. You're going gonna to have people going at you hard. You know they like taking up for foreign fighters before they do U.S. fighters, right there, gumbo? Kansas City Mac, what's good in the building? He said Errol does not have head movement. He does. He have head movement. He has head movement, bro. When that mitt hit him in the head, it moved it. Come on, plus right now. He has head movement. When that mitt hit him upside the right side of his head, he had movement. Am I lying? Am I lying? He had he had head movement, bro. Seriously. When when Derek slapped the shit out of him with that that left that left hook, when he was in there just flailing away, he was feeling himself. He was listening to that music in his damn uh, iPod, his, his AirPods and shit. Yeah, man, his head moved. You saw how he got damn pivot out and, and went to the corner. He was done with the what when he got popped upside the head. I don't know if his mouthpiece was over there next to the heavy bag. That that shit might have came out too, but. You see how he, he pivoted and then he walked away. You know what I'm saying? His head moved in, real talk. The jug hook is the perfect shot, especially after seeing the James counter landing flush. But hey, what do I know? Man, that that that's you know, I, I find that to be um a very intricate detail real talk that's an intricate detail seeing that play out i know i know um spence fans like ib you know you probably looked at that and you probably brushed it off as nothing but us we look at it like mm, if that would have been bud throwing that hook it would have been time to pay up you know what i'm saying you know and, and look it, it it's even it it even go down to this right here too. Do we actually think that 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 Bud is not gonna throw a left hook now that the right side of Errol Spence may have potentially been breached, exposed, identified as a as a as a weak perimeter? I think that perimeter is fragmented, yo. I think there's a breach in the perimeter. In the military, we have this, when we're setting up perimeter, we have to go do checks and shit and make sure nothing can really have an easy go, especially when you're setting up Constantino Y, right? But I think that right there is breached, man. That 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 right side where he has the, the big scar, that, that area has damage to it. You know what I'm saying? Contrary to his, his fans who thought that just because the man didn't have no broken bones, he was RoboCop and he came back great. No, something's absolutely wrong. And when Crawford lands that left hand, you know what I'm saying? When he lands that left hook on the inside, it's not going to be a quick recovery like Ugas who stopped freaking throwing punches. It's going to be bad, y'all. But we got fight week on deck, yes, sir. Look at it this way. Mistakes are a fact of life, people. It is response to error that counts, okay? When 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 Errol Spence makes that mistake, 
it's it's going to re, be response to the error that count. Is he going to goddamn reset or is he going to turn turn around and try to locate and close with and destroy? Just become reckless because every time Arrow get hit, he just want to keep marching and marching. Bang, 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 bang. It's, it's just like when you're at the fight firing range and, and you're shooting those metal targets. You hear the ping. You know what I'm saying? That that that's that's what happened when Arrow gets hit, and what he allows his opponents to see. You know what I'm saying? He just come forward and just like bang, 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 bang. You have full range of motion to land punches on Arrow Spence when he gets hit because that's all he does. He reacts and he want to get it back immediately. If that means getting shots to the head, that's what he'll do. But that was with everybody else. It wasn't with Bud. And of course, they're going to turn around, right? Showtime, they're going to turn around and say, well, you said it wasn't with Bud, but Bud's sitting there with, with, with Errol, the toughest opponent he ever faced in his goddamn boxing career. I'll tell you that, buddy. I don't know what you're thinking of. You need to go watch some film. This is his toughest fight. He's in trouble. Salute to Big Bunch Boxing for lensing and capturing a sauce experience moment, like I would say. Shout out to the soldier, man. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn caught the 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 intricate detail. The exposure. The side that I believe that was wrapped up when that eye prohibited him, prevented him rather, prevented him from facing Pacquiao. I believe that was the same side, y'all. But I um I, I wish I wish the best for Fulton. I'm going for Fulton. Gumbo is 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 I don't know if that fifty dollars you was trying to bet fifty dollars on that. Were you trying to bet me fifty dollars, Blunts? I mean um Gumbo on um you wanted to bet on Inaway? I don't know what the fifty dollars was. You know what I'm saying? Um What's the odds on Fulton getting stopped? Damn, Gumbo. Gumbo going for Fulton getting stopped? Who has stopped Fulton? Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll take a 50 on Fulton not getting stopped. Okay? You let me know if you want that bet. Damn, I can't wait for the 29th. I feel like a kid ready for the, the day of first day of school with... The whole outfit and sneakers laid on the bed next to me, though. He said, man, you ain't lying, right? God damn. I mean, uh, I, I can't remember those days because, God damn it, my shit was from Payless, Kmart. And if I was able to lift some shit out the store, I did. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Not to take the buzz away. I feel you. The first day, of, look, the first day of school is everything, right? It's everything. Real talk. That's That's everything. Coming in there fresh. You know what I'm saying? Especially you if you already been in high school. Elementary don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know what elementary is. Most of y'all went to middle school and then high school. You know what I'm saying? Um, that little clip was seen 90,000 times on Twitter. God damn. Jeez. What they say? Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. 90 stacks on deck. <laughs> Hey, goddamn dropping content like hot potatoes, man. I got fooled them by UD. Okay. Team Spence got six days to figure it out. That was a major red flag witnessing that slow counter from James Landon clean. Major, major. But we're going to let that red flag fly in the sky. You know what I'm saying? We're going to let it um, fly in the sky because I did hear him on that interview say, you know, he's just going over film with his team and going over the game plan. And, you know, they keep using that 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 famous word, y'all, that five-character word. F-O, Charlie Uniform Sierra. Focus, focus, focus. Don't get caught in the hocus pocus. Focus. They, they man, I, I never heard focus used so much in my life. How much do you, do, do you need us to bring you some lenses 
and duct tape, um, put some electrical tape around your head. Uh, are you allowed to have that shit, bro? Like I never, I never heard the word focus used so much leading up to a fight. Like I remember Derrick James telling him after the Ugas fight, you, you got, you just gotta stay focused. We just gotta work on focus. Now, if you told him that last year, why would y'all still be talking about something staying focused? Because there are some focusing issues. You keep going out of focus, not because you're not trying to focus. It's that you're incapable of staying focused. It's not just a flip of a switch like a camera. You have MF and AF. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be able to AF, automatic focus. But when you get injured or you got shit going on, now it becomes to manual focus. You got to get in a position of manual focusing to try to see something. If y'all pay attention to the mitt work, when they was in the middle of the ring and he had proper distance, it was much more fluent. But when you was all over there close in the, in the corner, you know, and whatever going on, that, that nigga was running the brick walls, dog. That shit was goddamn walking in traffic, running to the side of Gumbo's truck. That nigga, Gumbo had to pull over and say, shit, what was that? He said, I know somebody just ran in the side of my truck. That was Spence and, and, and goddamn Derek out there practicing mitts again. I'm just running in this shit, dog. Mr. Magoo. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was Mr. Magoo running in that shit. Gumbo, if you think Interway stops fourth in, the, in around 7 to 12, if you bet 500, you can win 1650. Wow. Wow. If you think Interway stops fourth in the 7 to 12, wow. Shout out to Martin King Boxing in the building. What's good with it, Martin King? We fucking up some fish, man. Six days, y'all game over. Six days game over, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Martin King has put the gauntlet into full effect, into full of phys ed. Six days, man. It's fight week. I want y'all to be extra turned up. I want y'all energy to be at levels that you never experienced in life. Even when you found out that you weren't, you know, doing your homework the way you're supposed to and you weren't quite sure you was going to graduate, but you found out you was graduating. I want you to have that type of energy when you when you you knew you fucked up, but you somehow, some way you got there was able to get by. You know what I'm saying? When you got down was walking and you found some money on the floor and you had to look around first to see if you was being set up and you picked that shit up and it was a full motherfucking bill. You had it right to Burger King. I want you to get that type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? The first time you stole stole money out, out, your, out your parents' freaking purse, your mom's purse, and you didn't get caught and she didn't know it was gone. I want you to have that type of energy. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? I want you to have that type of energy. When you made an unauthorized charge on your parents' credit card and, and, and they didn't see it, they said, oh, baby, did you make this charge over here? It was from Amazon. Um. It's funny, though, men, you don't really deal with this type of stuff, but it's for ESPN Plus. You know, they had a special. They had a bundle pack. Did you did you buy this? Oh, I might have. I'm always on Amazon, uh, ESPN doing something, babe. You know, yeah, it was probably me. I want you to have that feeling. You know what I'm saying? When you were stealing shit and you didn't get caught. <laughs> how, relief you, how relieved you were. You know what I'm saying? I want you to have that motherfucking feeling, y'all. It's fight week, man. Shout out to the two dollars super chat by Martin King Boxing. One love to you, much appreciated in the building, man. I'm turned up. I'm hyped. It's fight, fight, fight week. Yes, sir. We are on deck. We are on deck, man. It's going down, bro. T-Mobile Arena, man. They already know. They already know history. It's always been about greatness. Look at the thumbnail. It's always been about greatness, man. You know what I'm saying? The one and only, 39 and old, man. I had to put the prediction, the forecast. You know what I'm saying? Listen, y'all can't sit up here and say I'm being a hypocrite because I'm predicting 40 and 0 and 31. No, 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 no. That's just my prediction. It's just based off forecasting numbers. I just saying what it's going to take for Crawford to get that 40th victory and 31 knockout. 
I can't tell you how it's going to play out. I can't tell you. I don't know, but I can put some numbers up here and I can give you the visual. That's not bad. I just don't like hearing people go through all these sequences. Well, I think Crawford, he's going to start off in the orthodox. He's going to stay there for approximately 62 seconds. And then he's going to switch over briefly. You know, he's going to catch some punches on the ropes. And he's going to be slipping and moving. He's going to pivot out, reset. He's going to land the left hand. He's going to step back, do a shuffle. And then he's going to bounce off the rope and come off with a slingshot jug hook. You know what I'm saying? The first slingshot jug hook. And he's going to catch Spence. Spence is going to go wobbling back to the, to the, to the turnbuckle. And you know what I'm saying? Um, his mouthpiece is going to come out. And at that time, he goes looking for it. And goddamn Bud is going to do what has never been seen before. He's going to punch Spence with a straight left through the ropes. Spence is going to go falling out of the ring onto the floor. He's going to start hemorrhaging. <laughs> Derrick James is going to jump over there at me and say, focus. Focus, focus. Spence is going to get up and hop back in the ring. The referee is going to call time, fight. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Focus. That's all you had to do. You never should have got out the ring if you focus. Leave your mouthpiece alone, man. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. That nigga, look, if there's any sponsorships on Spence Trunks, the word focus should be on there. You know what I'm saying? It, with, with all the other sponsors, the, the word focus should be right there on the waistband. Focus. Fuck the damn eye on the mouthpiece. Focus should be right there on your waistband. Focus. Because y'all done said it more times than I think has ever been used in a 30-day 30, 30 period by a human being. I've heard D um, Diddy James use it as a hook. I, I heard that Arrow use it. Doing the press conference and interviews. Hey, we just have to stay focused, 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 focused. Take that, take that, take that. And, and, take that, take that. Focus. I mean, come on, stop it, bro. Is it true that 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 one of um is it true that one of bird sparring partners is the guy that um took Spence Retina? I don't know. I just, I just think that, you know, if it's indeed McAlooey, I think McAlooey injured a, a eye that was already had pre-existing damage to it. That's just my honest opinion, because like I tell you, you're not going to hit the pavement at all and have no broken bones, but think you're not going to have anything else wrong with soft tissue damage. We got fighters that don't have broken bones in, in football all the time, but they got CTE damage. God damn, what the fuck y'all talking about, man? Why do people look at, oh, man, no broken bones. Uh, I, I'm bragging about coming back from an accident. I'm bragging about that shit. Spence is bragging about that shit, knowing damn well that he has residual effects that's going on. He does. He has residual effects. But he's 100%. He's been out 15 months. He said he ain't going to make no excuses. It is what it is. So I don't want, I don't want none of them cats coming to here to my oh, man. He was damaged from the car accident. When have you seen? Look, this is going to be their favorite thing, y'all. When have you seen? Just like they use for Sean Porter. When have you seen? When have you seen Arrow do that? When have you seen Arrow do this? When have you seen Arrow do that? When have you seen him goddamn get hit with a, a, a juke hook, land on his head, do a total of five rotations, you know what I'm saying, just like he was breakdancing, and he falls on his back. His mouthpiece comes out. He rolls over and go looking for his mouthpiece, and, 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 and Bud steps over him and, and pretty much hit him the same way Roy Jones did Griffin when he was on one knee. Boom, pop his ass. You know what I'm saying? When have you seen that? When have you seen Arrow just get out of focus? Most of the time, Arrow is in focus. What the referee going to say? Arrow, focus. And Derek going to be over there. Huh, good. You got that money, I see. Huh? Keep, keep reminding, bro. Good job. Good job. Fight, you ready? You ready, Arrow? Focus. Fight. 
Bo Max said it's Team Crawford knows especially how Bud fights. Spence going to have that mental fart and makes that mistake. Focus, DJ James voice. I know, man, he's going to have that mental fart, man. That shit is, is, is imminent. That shit is imminent. It's on the horizon. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. Oh, okay. 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 I, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. Gumbo still out here being a debt collector as you revving up his engine and shit with the lights, with the lights off. Goddamn Gumbo at the top of the hill with the, with the lights off revving his engine. I'm coming, nigga. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm about to roll down this bitch full speed. RW says I had those Olympians and, and them um, XJ900 from Payless. Yeah, man, I had I had the shoes that looked like Adidas. The shell to Adidas, man, but they 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 had like three or I mean, uh, four or five stripes on them bitches. You know what I'm saying? You can get you can get six pairs for $3. Guarantee you play one, you play one minute of pickup basketball on them bitches. They 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 come apart. Done. Over. We must disseminate the hot grease across all platforms. Man, it's, it's going to get crazy this week, bro. It's going to get cl- crazy. I'm telling you, tomorrow, like, I'm, I'm going to put it out there again. When I open up the panel, I want y'all to come up here and pretty much let those who are out there listening to, to, to WCS, I want them to let, I want you to let them know in your best Raw. I want. I want. I, I uncut. I want you to explain to them how you're feeling leading up to this fight, and 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 how do you see the results playing out? You know how to go into the prediction mode. I don't need to say, well, uh, round one, the first ten seconds, and all. no, I don't need all that. I just want you to let them know how you ultimately feel, how this fight is going to play out for the fighter that you're going for. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be emotionally and physically involved to convince them that there's nothing they can stand on in saying that Arrow's going to win this fucking fight. It's nothing, it's nothing they have to stand on. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. It's nothing they have to stand on. The mouthpiece, DJ don't have the capabilities or the experience or the intelligence to come up with a suitable game plan for him to go in there and beat Crawford. That's just the way I feel. When when you have a trainer that goes in here and slap his fighter around with a mitt, he should have been, that, that Snolly Goster, that Snolly Goster should have been terminated right there on the spot. You know what I'm saying? That Snolly Goster should have been terminated right there. Real talk. You don't you don't put your fighter out there like that. You don't smack him in the head when he got a fight coming up. What, what if he would have got cut? What if he would have got cut, man? From the seams of the mitts. The seams of the mitts, according to what they are, they can be sharp. What if he would have got cut? I asked the people whose counter is faster. James or Crawford, they went mute in the comments. I know, right? I seen that. That shit was hilarious, man. Who whose counter is quicker? Crawford or or freaking Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Diddy was just over there well in the way, man. Like, like he was down on the scorecards, bro. Y'all. Diddy was just over there well in the way, like he was down on the scorecards. Like somebody told him, hey, you know, unofficially, Diddy, the streams, the streams is down at least about um 70%. So you need to get them streams up, Diddy. Take that, take that. Diddy went ham on that motherfucker. Start swinging the mitts, slapping Spence's head all around. I'm like, damn, dude. That's fucked up. Shout out to Jamal Neezy in the building. I see you, Neezy. What's good? What's good with a Neezy? They don't know Neezy. They don't know what's coming. Man, we headed to the parade deck to see the ceremony, goddammit. That's where we headed this week. 
we headed to the parade deck to see the ceremony. That's where we at with it. That's where we at with it. We don't want no substitutions. We 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 seen the video. We seen the videos out. Errol Spence was running up the hill. I like. I love it. Yes. Yes. It's fight week, and you still running up the hill. Yeah. Get those pounds off. Get those pounds off. If I would have known his location, I would have gotten there and rolled up that motherfucker with some Popeye's chicken, eating some red beans and rice right in front of your face. I would have been dipping them crab legs and goddamn that, that, that fresh melted hot butter. I would have been eating some lobster tail, goddamn jumbo fried shrimp. Oh my goodness, man. Damn. And I would have had a long iced tea sipping on it. I would have said, God damn it, Spence, this, this Long Island tastes good. I, 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 know, I know you want some. Hey, hey, hey. Between me and you, you can, you, can, you can take a sip if you want, man. Errol, if you want a sip, man, hurry up. I got to go, dog. You, I, hey, you want a shrimp? I got some, I got some steak, uh, steak bikes in here, too. I cut up that filet mignon, man. That shit's soft than a mother, tender than a bitch, man. I got some. I got some fish in here. You want some fish? Oh, you don't want none of that, huh? Okay. Shit, man. I'm just telling you, bro. I'm just telling. You, I got the good shit. Real talk. I got the good shit. I got all the stuff you want to eat right now that I can consume and you can't. But I'm telling you, if they tell you you can't have a cheap meal, they fucking lying to you, that arrow. You can have a cheap meal, goddammit. Do you want this? It's getting cold, bro. I got some buttermilk biscuits there, Arrow. I got some buttermilk biscuits. Mm. You know what I'm hey Arrow, you know what I'm gonna do once I get off this live? I'm gonna go fix me something. Mm. I'm about to fix me one of those meals that has the right amount of calories in that motherfucker, dog. Serious. I'm I might even have some some freaking teriyaki. Teriyaki chicken on brown, a bed of brown rice there, their brother. You know what I'm saying? With some cabbage. You know what I'm saying? I might even throw in some strawberry cheesecake at the end. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what I might consume. I might eat that. Or I might get Showtime to say, hey, can you run up to that, that place and get some fresh fried calamari? God damn it. God damn it. I love calamari. You love calamari, Errol? Huh? You love calamari? Because I do. Let's make a bet. Who can eat calamari in the shortest, shortest period of time once I get off live? Who can eat it the fastest, god damn it? <laughs> god damn, man. It is over. It is over, Spence. I I'm thinking about having some shrimp and grits, bro. How about you? How about you there, Errol? You, you want some shrimp and grits? Some hash? You know what I'm saying? Some hash? Some cheese eggs? Mm, mm, mm. Scrambled eggs with that fresh cheese on the top? Not that cheese I'm giving to the strays. I'm talking about that 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 premium, that that cheese that's just shredded. You know what I'm saying? That premium cheese you can taste, you can smell that shit. What what about what about um some 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 freshly made homemade sausage? You know, have about two or three sausage patties with some with some shrimp and grits, cheese eggs. You know what I'm saying? Throw some waffles in there, some French toast. That that run that syrup over the top of it with a with a little sugar sprinkles on that shit there, Arrow. Huh? Huh, Arrow? With and, and goddamn with a cinnamon dolce latte. Huh? You think you can eat that this week? I am. I am. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, brother. But I think tomorrow I might have a, a, a slice. I'm talking about sausage, pepperoni, mushroom, olives. I might just have about two slices of um, exquisite oven cooked pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I know your mouth watering while you're running up that hill, Arrow. You can't, you can't put those calories in there, huh, Arrow? I get it. I get it. Don't be mad, nigga. Don't, don't be a hater now. Don't be a hater. 
But I can tell you this. Every bite I take, I be thinking about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I'm chasing that shit down, I'm like, God damn, these calories. I love these calories. God damn, this cheese is something. Oh, my God. Thank you, Father God, for, for allowing me to find this pizza spot once again so it can be nourishment upon my body. I love you, Father God. Father God, do you mind if I share? I'm about to drive over there. I'm about to locate. I heard he was running. I'm about to locate so he can get a whiff of this. I'm telling you, y'all, I'm here to give back. All you, all you um, arrows, arrow, arrow sexuals and shit, man, help me give back to the community. Where can I locate him? Put his coordinates down. I want to take him something. You know what I'm saying? I want to take him something. I want to take him, you know, forget his nutritionist. I want to take him some good shit. The man like crab legs, God damn it. I'm going to bring it to you. Already cracked out the shell. Hot. I'm going to bring you a fresh batch of calamari too. You can put that lemon juice over the top of that Earl. Well, I'm not, I know you. I know you salivating. Your, your, your shit foaming right now. God damn it, it's foaming. And you know what? I'm gonna throw in a draft. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in two draft beers for you. You know, with seafood, you know, drinking that draft beer, that shit is delicious, Earl. Oh, god damn! Look, Earl. Some draft beer. If you if you if you just throw another cardio session in there, you'll be able to burn that damn crab leg and calamari and that draft beer. Them two draft beers off, man. Come on, let's chill for a minute, man. Fuck it. You good? You an elite fighter? You an Olympian? Man, you can recover. You got. Check this out, Eric. You got Monday. You got Tuesday, and you got Wednesday, and you got Thursday. Six hours, bro. You know how much time you have to burn that shit off? Somebody drop me in the coordinates. I'm 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 a goddamn go over there and I'm I'm, I'm gonna drop him off a freaking care package. Yes, sir. I'm I'm drop arrow off a care package. Land on his head. W says you out of control. I'm just saying, bro. I'm trying to help him out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shot news. I'm, I'm trying to help him with with some fresh. I'm talking about the way the shit look on the menu type of shit. I, I, I want him to see it and smell it for himself, bro. Forget his nutritionist. His nutrition is on some bullshit, making him eat that bullshit, dog. Come on, man. Let's go back to the old school, Arrow. If you want a drink, let's get a drink. Toby Bartlett in the building. Salute WCS in the chat. We're global, baby. We're global on deck. Only six days until the big fish fry. Six days, man. Toby, I'm trying to. I'm trying to be nice, man. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to go out here, out of my way, to take him a plate, like they used to do back in the day. You know, you know, your, your friend was somewhere to cook out or something. Say, hey, dude, man, give me a plate, dog. Give me a plate. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get him a play. I know he over there in Vegas. I seen him running up the hills. What kind of nigga am I if I pass by him and I'm eating on some good shit? Premium. I'm talking about the menu that's that's thirty dollars or higher, and 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 I don't give him any. I'm talking about those cheese biscuits from Red Lobsters. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Sipping on an Arnold Palmer there, um, Spence. Do you want some cheese biscuits? You know what I'm saying? Where the cheese is melted in there and that shit just melts in your mouth. Come on, bro. I know you want some of that. I know you do. Come on, man. You want some you want some stuffed mushrooms, man? See, now we're getting a little bit healthier. You know what I'm saying? Stuffed mushroom with some crab meat. I know you want some of that. God damn. I be who I be. Oh, oh, my man Tom and folks out by accident. I be what you doing? What you doing, I be? I, I, I know you're not thinking that the first one is a mistake, but the second, third, and fourth one is going to be a mistake too. 
I know you're not steady over here timing people out again, I be. I don't see anybody timed out. I don't see it. I be listening and in traffic at the same time. No cap, fellas. Um, needs to know it's an accident. It's crazy how easy it is. I done that sh- that shit on the accident a few times. Man, why y'all brothers riding with your your phones? You know you can't put your phone on lock when you're on YouTube, right? So why are you gonna be riding with the phone in your back pocket, knowing that? shit like that can happen you know what i'm saying when y'all trying to pull over and get you know and 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 not paying attention y'all ain't focused i've been i've been missing the word focus the whole damn live stream and you're gonna put the phone in your back pocket air was doing last minute cleanup i seen him on the heels done i seen that man running up the heels he look hungry look look what he looks hungry bro that man is running up hills and we're on fight week. Right as we speaking right now, he's probably doing cardio. You know what I'm saying? He's probably sitting at about 161, 162. You know what I'm saying? He, he got a long ways to go, bro. He probably got like 14 more pounds to lose. That's why he was on that hill in the heat. I wonder, I wonder, you know, how Crawford workout went today. I'm pretty sure they just went in there and worked out as normal. You know, lost another one or two pounds. You know, Crawford them probably sitting at about 149, 150, just some, just some shit to hang out with. 149, 150. You know what I'm saying? 150. You know what I'm saying? Spence up there in the 160s. He leaving his soul up there on the hill, y'all. What's the word, Toby? What's going on over there in UK? Just support the OG. Don't hold the accidents, accident, accident, um, incidentals against a player. It's all love, my way. You got to pay more attention. You got to be more careful. We don't fight We got to be. Every comment count, I be. This is the hottest chat in the game, bro. Every comment count, man, on the replay. They have to hear what the chat is talking about. I want I want everybody to hit the replay to know what the chat is talking about, especially on fight week. You know what I'm saying? So you timing somebody out, that's like taking away from their freaking them pressing enter, dog. They might have been thinking about pressing enter on some shit. Karate body on deck, two dollar super chat in the building. I'm here just showing support, bro. I appreciate you, karate body. No doubt. One love. Thanks for supporting the channel, bro. I noticed when I started to get into my Spence ad libs, the numbers um, start to decline. One or, one or two things are happening. Team Spence Ace actually jumped off the live. You know what I'm saying? And when it got some of the food that I was talking about, that's how I look at it. I think I think those little numbers that dropped off. I think it was Team Spence, and they actually, you know, said, "Damn." This nigga actually talking some good shit. Can we actually have a cheat meal today on Sunday? I mean, God will forgive us. No, 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 no. We can't do that, man. We got to keep on. Yeah, 160, 162. No, man, we can't do that. We can't do that. Come on, coach. You're too serious and grumpy all the time, man. I'm telling you, man. We're going to have to have an extra cardio session. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to not eat a meal tomorrow. To get that shit off, man. We'll worry about that shit tomorrow, dog. Did you hear me what I said in the interview? I said I lock in. You know what I'm saying? What lock? What 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 is lock? Can 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 become unlock, right? So all I'm doing, we're gonna we're gonna unlock out this shit for a little bit. I want to go up to um, Julio's Pizza. They sell that oven, that oven baked pizza. Oh my god, I love it. I wasn't even thinking about pizza. I was thinking about some seafood. But since he he, he mentioned that oven, that oven um baked pizza, I want to go over there and get me some. All I'm gonna eat is two slices. I know I know two slices is damn near like half a medium pizza. I know that. But I'm gonna drink a lot of water after I eat them slices. For real, Arrow put hot sauce on all that bullshit, dog. <laughs> 
Oh my God, man. That's where it's all wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get this nigga jello. And that nigga putting hot sauce on jello and shit. And then he gotta go right to the damn toilet. I mean, come on, stop doing dumb shit, man. Pay attention. Keep them calories in your body. Nigga up there putting hot sauce on the Twizzler. What kind of bullshit is that, man? You can't train when you're in the bathroom taking a shit, man. You got diarrhea because you're putting hot sauce on everything. Salute my brother, Team Tucker. You know the vibes. Yes, sir. Sad is going to be a treat for us as boxer fans with the cherry on top because Bud is going to win. Man, we're looking for that win, man. We feel it. It's turn up week. Real talk, it's turn up week. I know we got other boxing going on. Real talk. I'm 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 pulling for, for CBS, man, to get that cool boy Steph. Uh, I really want him to get that win and defend his titles, you know, against a name like in a way. I hope it's no bullshit over there. I hope he's good. Um, his team is on 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 point with making sure he drink the water he's supposed to drink and, and stay on top of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm really looking forward to it. But the but the big grand kahuna. The Grand Kahuna, you know what I'm saying? The Grand Kahuna is 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 Saturday night. The Grand Kahuna is Saturday night, man. So if I was y'all, man, I would I would really go looking for some good seafood spots. Seriously, I really go looking for some good seafood spots and just order the 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 the, the ultimate platter. You know what I'm saying? Not so much that ultimate. Feast at, at Red Lobster. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not. That's that's not that's not grand enough. That shit used to be good when I was a teenager because I felt like, damn, I feel special eating all this damn seafood, you know, oysters, clams, you know what I'm saying? Lobster, shrimp. But no, no, no we, we got to do it bigger. We got to go get the fried trout, red snapper, catfish. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. We got to get the fried fish only. You know what I'm saying? And then throw some sides on there. You know what I'm saying? You want to get some oven roasted potatoes, some fries with it, or some corn on the cob. You know, that shrimp. Shrimp always go good with, with, with fish, man. Make sure y'all indulge. Get your money right. Get that seafood platter. Get some hot sauce on that bitch. Way in open to the public. I figured that. They probably going to have it outside too. The only thing we need left is that goddamn Jose Benavidez and, and, and Bud Crawford energy, goddammit. Come on, man. We don't need the Devin Haney and, and, and Lomachenko energy because they want to find a nigga for that shit. I don't blame them for that. They want to find a nigga for that. We ain't trying to lose money. So so, so we got to kind of bring it up unexpectedly like freaking Canelo did. We got to make it look like it's, you know what I'm saying, it's it's natural. You know what I'm saying? We got to give you the Canelo and Caleb Plant type of shoving. You know, even though it was much more physical, the way, the way Devin Haney put all his shoulders and back and, and Lomachenko just folded forward. They felt he had vertebrae, freaking injuries, and he felt bad. He he looked bad, first of all. We, we got to make it look a, just a little bit more natural, like it's not premeditated. So if, if Spence can kind of get a little rowdy or some shit like that, and I don't know, Crawford dip his head and give him that Jose Benavidez look when all you saw is the white of Crawford eyes walking in there to face off. He know he was on some savage time, dog. Bud walked up that motherfucker and said, nigga, I'm here. Damn, Benavidez pushed him. He threw that right hand. I'm telling you, bro. We need something to set it off. Forget all this nice shit. We, 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 we need the next step, dog. We need something to talk about. Just like Tank Davis, he always gives us that unexpected um, moment of cruelty. You know what I'm saying? We knew he was going to push Ryan Garcia. We just wanted to know when it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. We just wanted to know when. I'd be careful. We don't want to hear about you and Arrow Spence 
get into a fender bender, typing while driving. No, man, I'm just going to, you know, pretty much antagonize him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit up there and antagonize him. I'm going to pull that fish apart and shit, let him know. This is how you break up a family. You know what I'm saying? You go to one of their relatives and you rip their ass up. That fish. Yeah, look at that steam coming off that spence. You know what I'm saying? Arrow, you, you hear me, Arrow? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sipping on some sweet tea right now, Arrow. Can you get, you want some sweet tea, man? Or you can't have no sugars. You can't have no sugars, huh? You can't go to the favorite Texas joint and get your favorite meal. I, 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 I feel you on that. I feel you, dog. Someone in Vegas makes sure to tell Bud he down ASAP. Man, they already did that, man. Bud already know he down, man. Hey, hey, Bud already know he down in weight, too. <laughs> hey, 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 Bud already know he down in weight, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, somebody tell Errol Smith Bud down in weight, man. He down on the cards and he down in weight. <laughs> tell that nigga he down in fucking weight, bro. Bud Crawford, two-time on the speed. Talk to him, bro. Talk to him, you know, man. Talk to him. Let him know. We out here to... Pr- to spread the word it's fight week god damn it two time undisputed bringing that shit back to omaha let's get it let's see let's see the the pound for pound best go in there and stun on them it's time to show up and show out nigga it's is we've been talking about this shit for five years down to a week we, we we down to six days even we still on sunday so we got to call it we got to call the week you know what i'm saying we on Sunday, man. We on fight week, period. 40 and 0 in the building. 31 knockouts. We waiting on Jim Gray, nigga. We waiting on Jim Gray. Well, <laughs> what, what, Bud Crawford? Um, this is pretty much what everybody expected. Did you think it was going to happen in this, this type of fashion this early? Did you even cut off the showers in the back? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you? Did you cut off the showers? Because, God damn it, that was quick. Jim Gray might jump out of character, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? The legend himself, the Hall of Famer. If you like hot sauce, fuck it. I'm more of a tartar sauce kind of fish eater. I can't wait for um, Crawford to catch that MTF. Hey man, um, to each his own. I'm, I'm more. I used to when I was younger tartar sauce, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm hot sauce man, and especially, especially for this occasion right here. I'm, I'm straight up hot sauce, sweet tea, hot sauce, you know, ample napkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we at with it. That's where we at with it. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got to get that hot sauce on there. Seriously, seriously. Hey, who's who's timing out who? Who's timing out who? I don't see Jamal needs a bro think tank. Let me see. I don't see any. I don't think Jamal is timed out. Hey, y'all, y'all need to be careful about um because I don't want to. I don't want to reduce my um my my wrenches again. Okay, now I see it. I B. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Damn, man, I did the wrong one, man. Man, I look, I had I had to look. I'm gonna put you back. I had I had to, I had to put IB. Uh, uh-uh. nah, nah, we can't do that. I had to goddamn put IB 
on goddamn moderator timeout, goddamn it. You we have to wait till these days go by. You, 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 you got that timing out easy, man. Come on, bro. I know you, hey, bro, we can't be doing that. We can't have no mistakes on fight week, goddamn. We can't have Mars riding down on, on the goddamn scooter, going over speed bumps with his phone in his back pocket, goddamn timing people out, man. I give you shit back, but but we're gonna we're gonna make sure this don't happen because you repeat offender. You know what I'm saying? We repeat offender, bro. Come on, IB, you repeat offender, bro. You'll get it back, but it's gonna be on the 30th. <laughs> no, man, we ain't got damn time without the damn the hitters. We can't time out the hitters, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it back to you, man. It's just not gonna be doing fight week you know what i'm saying you know what it is player man you you up here riding around and shit riding all on sidewalks hopping all around time and people got how 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 is that possible bro let me see how is that possible Damn. Okay. I got it, Showtime. I seen it. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Hey, hey, hey. Those trenches are heavy, boy. The information is going. Oh, my God. The trenches are heavy. The drop off points are, 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 are freaking heavy. Woo, that's crazy. One on deck, I see you. Salute WCS. Spence about to get cooked like ramen noodles, vanilla wafers. Damn, no, he did not bring up the ramen noodles. I, I'm, I, look, I, I would have basically added that to the menu as I'm about to go up there and find, I, I, I still got time to go up there and find out what role he's going up. The only reason I didn't I didn't do ramen noodles because ramen noodles is not a, a item that is eaten with with seafood, but 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 being that I'm on some um, real, you know what I'm saying, um, supportive type time, the sodium in a cup of noodles is about a thousand milligrams. Okay, and you know what sodium does? It allows you to retain water. So I'm always thinking, I say, damn, ramen noodles might not be bad to go up there and give Spence with, 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 with a thousand plus, um, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's a thought. A thousand milligrams of sodium, uh, that should hold that water in there nicely. But I need to chill because I said I want him to make weight, y'all. I want this man to make weight. You got to um, give Neezy the wrench, dog. Already did. Already did. Already gave him the wrench. I mean, I thought he had one. Already gave him the wrench. I'm just waiting on him to come in again. Yeah, I already gave him the wrench, man. But he hasn't, he hasn't come in it. After being timed out. You know what I'm saying? I already gave it to him. Hey, hey, drop a comment, Neezy. If you're still in here, drop a comment, bro. Drop a comment. Shout out to Martin King Boxing, man. In the building with the $5 Super Chat, man. I appreciate what you're doing um, at WCS. I appreciate you, big dog. No, nah, man, I appreciate you um, supporting the channel. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you supporting the channel, man. I know everyone that's in here work for their hard-earned money. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all dropping through, showing up. And I'll be hearing you on, you know, the phone calls and shit, talking your shit about boxing. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Nah. 
Yeah, I, I, I got I got you lit up, man. I got you lit up so that won't happen no more. I think I think you got timed out last time too. I'm not sure, but you know what I'm saying? You gang gang wrench affiliate right now. You know what I'm saying? Your certificate in the mail, goddammit. Your certificate in the mail. Make sure aerosexuals' hands are tied behind their back. We don't want them to cover their eyes when the onslaught is taking place. <laughs> Down goes arrow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Don, you got to look at it in this two perspective now. Since you're on your petty time, you got to look at it like this too. You just, you if you have your hands behind their back, you know what I'm saying? They, they might still squinch. They, 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 they got them close their eyes and shit so they can't see it. But they will hear the referees count. Two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're close their eyes now. You got, you got, you got to think ahead of these aerosexuals now. And now they're not even out here talking about this the way it should be. They're busy talking about a fight that ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they busy up here talking about fights that's not gonna happen. Tomorrow I would like to see Archie Moore, and um. You know, we can get Archie Moore and 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 um Big Shot Shaw um to fight each other. Oh man, that would have been great. Archie Moore and Big Shot Shaw. Wow, that would have been they have been talking about fights is that's not even happening right now. They trying to stay off topic so they don't get critiqued. But yet when they do talk about it, they on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They on some straight up bullshit. They won't even keep it real, man. But remember. They will close their eyes now. We can go through drastic measures and put some toothpicks in between them and make sure they stay open. You know what I'm saying? But then, then it, it might get bad from there, man. You know, they, they got them need some damn eye lubricant. They eye start. No. Then they start filing complaints against us. We're trying to keep peace, bro. You know what I'm saying? They, they're still here to count. But no, we're trying to keep peace on fight week. It's going down. This Saturday... July 29th, man, it's going down. We get to see Crawford come two-time undisputed. We get to rub that shit in their face, dog. Again. Again. I'm talking about U-H-G-A-I-N. Again. <laughs> the fuck you mean? Again. We're going to rub that shit in y'all face. Again. Big Shot Shaw needs some defense. That was atrocious. I'm telling you, they up there talking about freaking Archie Moore and Big Shot Shaw and shit fighting. You know what I'm saying? Talk about some shit that ain't going to happen just to keep, you know, make it seem like they don't care about this fight this weekend. You care. You care. They care, goddammit. Ill State is box at WCS Salute. I see you in the building. What's good with it, Ill? Ill Sex is going to cry themselves to sleep. Man, I don't care how they handle the aftermath. I really don't care, y'all. I don't care how they handle the aftermath. It's not up to me. Only thing we are are, are already on, on tap, on the schedule. We got the bag lunches. That's all we need. That's it. That's it. We got it. We're giving back to the community, man. Even though they're not on the team, Crawford, you know, we're giving back to the community. That's all we can do, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all we can do. For us, by us. Shout out to FUBU. We, 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 that's our motto, y'all. For us, by us. That's what we're going to take, you know, when we when we set up the post-fight triage, God damn it. That's all. For us, by us. We're going to goddamn give them shit that, that, that we, we put together ourselves and, and send them about their way, man. That's all we can do. Yeah, definitely. We have to understand that it's essentially, essentially our job to make sure we keep our, um, keep their ears active, and we continue to speak loud enough so they can hear. This it. is going down this week. If they was mad before, they're definitely going to be extremely upset and and agitated this week. It's going to be a a reoccurring pleasure. I'm not lying to you. It's going to be a reoccurring pleasure this week. You know what I'm saying? It's time to stand up and face the music. It's time to face the music. Y'all been hyping this dude up for a long time. 
Y'all know damn well once Derek smacked him in the goddamn face with that damn mitt. Y'all know the shit was over then. Y'all probably went on the private chat and said, damn, dog, I ain't want to say anything on live, but that shit was fucked up, dog. Diddy slapped him like that. That, that shit was fucked up. If I can file a civil complaint, I swear. Remain anonymous, I would do it. That's fucked up. I don't want. I don't want to go against the team, man. You know, I don't want to mess my money up, man. They're giving me, you know, they're giving me about fifty dollars a month, man. I don't want that fifty dollars, you know, to be taken away, dog. For real, that's fucked up. What he did. No, talk about it on live, dog. Stand up for what you believe is right. Don't struggle with your insecurities. Speak up. Get reinforcements, man. Support groups are, are, are extremely important in this time. You know what I'm saying? If you need that social glue, get with the other um, reinforcements that you have, and y'all y'all talk it out, okay? All these preset agendas that you've been putting out here to the general public, it's over. It's over. It's fight week, baby. These preset agendas that y'all been pushing, you know what I'm saying? The, these these donkey doodle -doo narratives, jackass narratives that y'all been putting out here, it's over. It's time to stand up and, and take accountability. You know what I'm saying? We've dealt with the week-to-week -week turbulence that you put out. We dealt with that. The malice motivated allegations that 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 Crawford wasn't making this happen. He was causing this to fall out. He was negotiating in bad faith. All the shit y'all been talking about, it's over. It's over. Done. Y'all better make sure y'all get that back seat of the whip all cleaned out and get that trash from back there. Because some of y'all going to be out there sleeping in that bitch for a good two months after this damn fight is over with. So you better get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? You better get in line that motherfucker with some old blankets. Get nice and cozy. Get nice and cozy. It's still it's still summer out there. You know, it's still hot in some places, but y'all better get nice and motherfucking cozy. Y'all better go down to Salvation Army Goodwill and get some of them donations that they're giving away, them, them sheets, and get you some shit, man. Hey. Better get on that. Bud Crawford. Six-round KO. You know what I'm saying? Bud Crawford by six round KO. Yes, sir. It's mandatory to keep on talking about it. It's mandatory. It's genuine as shit. Real talk. We're not talking about weeks no more. We're talking about something that 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 cannot be denied. Vegas will be popping this weekend. People's lives will change permanently. We're looking for the cold-blooded ability for you to hear what the fuck I'm saying. I, I want I want to be cold-blooded all week. I want this deployment will be cold, to co be cold-blooded, man. I want your ears to feel some type of way, man. You see the notification? You don't have to click the volume. You don't have to click on it. It's just it's just I'm doing my duty to help you listen to what I have to say. You know what I'm saying? And yes, the the, the 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 euphony can become danger, you know, it can become critical, man. It may get to a point where you have to make a doctor's appointment. I'm going to remind you why Bud Crawford is better than Errol Spence. I'm going to remind you that lenses don't lie most of the time. The fact that he was walking into that damn left, he doesn't see the headlights, bro. His periphery is non-existent. He don't see the headlights, bro. It's over. That's a depressing reality. But I'm here to remind you. One thing God did not bless us with is to mute and unmute our hearing. You hear me? Don't act like it's distorted. You hear me, God damn it. You hear. You're going to hear the chorus all the time. I'm going to be the conductor. On three, two, one. <laughs> We're going to do this shit all week. All the way up to the weigh-ins. Now, now that the weigh-ins is public out there in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? 
the way it's in public is public. That's good. We get to hear Max. Look, we get to see Max participation. I like that. We get to see Max participation. Big Fish Sandwich, Burger King. Man, I think that was, no, it was McDonald's. McDonald's had that fish sandwich. That shit was good back then. I want to eat that shit now, though. But that fish sandwich was good as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I already told you, Blunts. He, he won the corn toss already, bro. Come on now. That's not even a prediction. He's won the con, uh, corn toss already. Seriously. I mean, we don't know how fair the co coin toss is going to be. They might they might have heads on both sides. You know what I'm saying? They might have one that have tails on both sides. You know, ne you never know what the coin is going to be. They might they might goddamn fix that shit too. But the mere fact of knowing that Bud Crawford won the coin toss to to see who walks out, he ain't he ain't leaving nothing to chance. He said, oh, I'm, I'm I'm taking everything." If I can goddamn, I'm competitive like that. I'm taking every opportunity, every advantage I can get. I don't care what you think. I don't care. Say what you want, man. Hey, I agree, Martin King. Keyshawn Davis' performance was okay. It was okay. When when you start getting that much publicity, you got to continue to perform at that 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 level or higher. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep on excelling. Shout out to four four eight on deck in the building. Can't wait for the 29th. After that, I don't want to hear. I don't have to hear the BS narratives from the aerosexuals anymore. Man, you know what? If that if that was absolutely a true statement you're not the only one we don't want to hear shit from the aerosexuals man we don't want to hear no excuses all that shit is off limits we don't want to hear tomorrow oh, crawford he he got down but kept him out the ring for 15 months and and no i thought i thought he didn't have to have no tune-up i thought for sure, I heard him say that he didn't take no other fight with anybody else because he wanted the Crawford fight. I could have sworn he said once he awakened um, from his coma, the, the first thing he said, I want to fight Crawford. Now, you trying to tell me he had Crawford on his mind that much? Crawford was on this man's mind that much? That when he woke up from an accident knowing damn well that Crawford wasn't going to be next, it was all cap. He still had Ugas. Seriously? Come on, bro. We ain't smoozing on this dude. We see it. We ready. We ready. Come on. Come on. We ready. Come on. Come on. We ready. We ready. I'll hug you. Come on, come on. Slap this, slap that goddamn donkey. Kick the pig. We he ready. Come on, kick the chicken. Man, we got down ready down here in the south, shout it. We ready down here in the south. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to hear none of that. Straight alert, straight alert on deck. God damn it, they 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 must have finally say, you know what, god damn it. I'm tired of hearing this goddamn. This 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 Crawford supporter talk. I gotta come out here and defend his honor. Arrow needs someone to defend his honor. Man, come on, Felicia. It's gonna take more than you. It's gonna take more than you. And the way I'm looking at it, it seemed like you was tearing those breadcrumbs up. Those little little sprinkles, you know, those little sprinkles of chocolate chip that I left in there. I'm trying to, it's fight week. I'm trying to get more and more. Y'all come on over here. And, and, and talk some shit. I even got them put some chocolate chip sprinkles in there, man. What took you so long? What took you so long? Tell me how can I help you? Help me help you. What more do I need to put out there for in the breadcrumbs? Is the taste getting a little bland? You know, what more should I add in there? 
you want me to add some 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 different type of um spices you know what i'm saying like a like some hershey's chocolate what are we what are we looking at nestle's quick um what what can we do what 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 can i do you want me to put a, just a droplet of strawberry cream cheese on there? How can I help bring more strays over here doing fight week? Help me. Help y'all. These dudes are splitting hairs about the silliest shit, bro. Nervous energy. Man, they're coming up here with these damn um, these scenarios, these predictions. You know, Spence is the, Spence is the one that's still out here running the heels of Vegas. You know what I'm saying? That that should have been something he was doing early in fight camp, but he wasn't. Now they're getting down to the final days. 96 hours, y'all. 96 hours over. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 96 hours. A little bit over a smidgen of 96 hours. It's getting bad. The hysteria is set in, y'all. The aerosexuals are scrambling, aimlessly scrambling. They are aimlessly scrambling. Psychological state debilitated. Sanity levels dangerously low. If you see one of these aerosexuals out there running a muck, please stay far, far away. Once again, I repeat, please stay far, far away from the aerosexuals because they are absolutely infectious. Okay. They are mutually destructive. Okay. I'm telling you ahead of time, please don't get too close. Stay away. Stay away. The aerosexuals are out of control. Lunatics, infectious lunatics who does not know what lies ahead this Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? They have already got their fake accounts up. They're not going to be on here on the 29th. They're going to be on some fake accounts trying to act like they're Bud Crawford fans. Oh, man, shout out to Bud. Oh, man, we're happy. Oh man, really, really happy. Um, excuse me. I went to your channel and um seems like you are deceiving the people. You are clearly states an aerosexual on your channel, but you're over here acting like you're supporting and trying to celebrate with us. We don't need no false celebrations, we don't need no freaking um strays coming over here. You know, trying to be a part of um, celebration and the party. No, we don't need none of that shit. Stay the same way you were on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Do not come back over here trying to blend in on Saturday night, okay? That weight cut is definitely taking a toll on them. That's why he's so irritated and talking about negotiations. Hey, man. He knew that shit already. But, 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 but Karate Body, check this out. Imagine having to cut about 12 pounds in 96 hours, right? Not only that, but you still have to deal with that, that motherfucker that slap you in the face with a mitt that embarrass you at the, at the media workout. But you still got to goddamn do some training with him. You know what I'm saying? You still got to see his face. He slapped the shit out of you with a mitt. I know Arrow pissed about that shit. That's what they need to ask him. All these people that get in the interviews, that's what you need to ask him. Ask him about that shit. Arrow, just want to ask you, um, was there any swelling that happened on the right side of your face um, per the media workout? No, no, no. I don't think so. I'm talking about after your trainer Diddy James slapped the shit out of you with the with the with the left juke hook. No, no, no. Um, 
It's funny you bring that up, man. I, I was just I was just at my point of getting over that shit, and now you done brought it back up, and now I'm pissed all over again. Yeah, I, I feel some type of way about that nigga smacking me like that, but hey, what goes around comes around. Don't worry about it. You seen that? You seen that? Not on this look, right? Okay. I'm gonna show you something in the fight that you ain't never seen before. I'm gonna pretend like I'm still punching at the end of the round. You know, when the bell ring, he come up there. I'm, I'm gonna goddamn get my shit off even if, w- once the bell rung and the round is over. I'm at like I got PTSD. I'm gonna start still swinging when he come and knock his ass out. I got a backup trainer. Fuck him. He ain't getting away with that shit. Goddamn it. That nigga gonna embarrass me in front of that, in front of people too. He gonna embarrass me and slap the shit out of me. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's unacceptable. The stray don't want to bet no money, man. He's just over here for the company. You know what I'm saying? This is the first channel I'm hitting after this sweet Spence KO. You got one thing. Spence is getting knocked the fuck out, though. That's what I'm talking about. Now you're talking sense there. Now you're talking sense. You, you're right about that. This is the first channel you should hit up. Because we're gonna be celebrating like a motherfucker on camera. You, you you should absolutely hit this channel up. I agree with that. Spence is getting KO'd. He is getting KO'd for real. And we and, and we feel good about that KO actually happening. You know what I'm saying? After what we've seen in the open workout, you know, I, I it's been many times that I stayed close to National Geographic, but that's the first time I've seen a sloth hit mitts for real. I never seen sloth media workout until I seen that shit. And not only that, that sloth came into distance and range with his coach very slowly, but yet his coach hands was moving faster than him putting his damn right hand up to block that shot because they, they basically practice and train blocking shots, not slipping shots. Right? So he tried to, he, he was taught to block, but being his trainer, was all about being in front of the camera and wanting all access to get some footage. Um, he slapped the shit out of his fighter, man, and his fighter turned around and went to the corner. He was embarrassed. He was embarrassed. Serious. Hey, it's it's no telling what the conversation was like once they left the gym. They was probably pissed the fuck off. Arrow was like, nah, you're going to pay for that. I'm going to run that back. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get that fade. I'm going to get that fade. Real talk. We don't know what happened while he had that knot on his lip. Arrow might have swung on him, dog. Who knows? It's 7 o'clock in the p.m. I may be back on a little bit later, but I'm about to jump off. I have um, things to take care of. But what I want y'all to do is remain vigilant, aware, very punctual, we're seeing sightings. The sightings are going to co- become more rapid, okay? Okay? I don't want you to take the infuriated aerosexuals that's running around here out of control for granted. All right? I want y'all to stay very, very vigilant. You know what I'm saying? Extremely vigilant. Do not be, be caught off guard. When you see an aerosexual walking up to you and they're smiling and they're holding out their hand and say, Hey, can we just have a conversation? I just want to ask you a boxing question. Don't believe it, y'all. Don't believe it. Look at them with other complexity, like you're confused. Create space between you and the aerosexual. They may start to run in close distance because they love just, you know, coming forward. Know that their hands are not going to be up. And all you have to do is just keep your eyes focused. And goddamn do the juke hook special. Ba-ba! You know, just, just give them two. Not one. Do the juke hook special. You know what I'm saying? Put a side order on that shit. That's all you. You're good. We juking all week long, baby. We juking. <laughs> hey, if the juke hook fail, goddamn, all you got to do is just, just take your hand and you reach over. Like, for those of you of Southpaw, just take that right hand. Just reach across to your left and just come back. 
You know what I'm saying? You just rear back with that backhand. Or if you're orthodox, you just take the left hand, reach over by your, your um, right shoulder, and you just come full force with the backhand right across the chin. That should do it right there. We're, you're looking at a good 30 to 35 seconds. They're going to be out. For real. Because we already know the, um, the perimeter has been breached, and that's all we need. It's going to be quick. It's going to be it's going to be brutal. And it's going to be straight to the point, baby. Y'all hold it down. I'm out. Peace.